Okay, hi everyone. So I'll be sharing on how to use Zizibar as well as how to set it up, okay, for first time users. Okay. So when you enter Zizibar, you will be greeted with this welcome screen. Okay, not to worry if the font size is different or the font design is different. Okay, that can be configured later. Let's go through some of the functions over here. So the magnifying glass is the search function of Ziziva. Okay, so if you start a new search window, okay, it will naturally show anagram match. Anagram match okay, will look for all anagrams of a word. So for example, if I type in retains, okay, any arrangement, okay, I'll type in an alphabetical order, then it will show all words that have uh, that can be made with all seven letters inside. Okay, so anagrams are rearrangements uh, that are valid words. Okay, and um, just in case we need to refer to this later, okay, A E I N R S T, okay, this arrangement of alphabets from A to Z, okay, based on the letters needed, okay, is called an alphagram. Alphagram, okay, not a valid word. Okay, then so anagram match is most uh, frequently used. Okay, sometimes you may need a pattern match as well. So for example, if you're looking for words that end with bird, okay, then perhaps you would like three letters in front of them. Okay, then we would use the question mark to denote a blank. Okay, three question marks followed by the word bird. Okay, so pattern match means, okay, if it does not contain three letters followed by bird, okay, those will be excluded. So only those that match the pattern, which is these 15 words here, will be shown. Okay, so this is how pattern match works. So also take note of its danger. So for example, if you type A-T-E, it will only show the word itself. It will not show you the other rearrangements that are also valid. So here, if we switch to anagram, you will see five words. However, for pattern match, only one is shown. Okay, lastly, okay, for sub anagram, okay, sub anagram are shorter versions of the rack itself. So once again, going back to our example of retains, if, if I were to look for a sub anagram match, you will see uh, racks that form valid words, uh, valid words that range from two letters all the way to seven letter words. Okay, so in Ziva, you can add multiple criteria so that uh, they can be narrowed down. So let's say you're looking for the most common bingos. Okay, so in this software, words are ranked by their probability, which is their chance of being taken out from the back. Okay, so uh, if let's say you're looking for bingos, okay, bingos are most of the time uh, played with seven letter words. So we will make use of the fourth function here, length. Length, okay, we will set it to seven, okay, minimum seven, maximum also seven. Then we will look for probability order. Okay, probability order we will set from one to 100, okay, for the purposes of this demonstration. So if you search for uh, probability 1 to 100, okay, what you get here is a series of high probability bingos okay, that you should be studying first okay, because they are the most likely to appear when you draw tiles out of a Scrabble set. Okay, so you could restrict it to any numbers that you like. Okay, and as you can see here, the column that says prop2 okay, will show you the probabilities of the word. Okay, then... Uh, in terms of the options on the right here, okay, whether uh, it is legs or not, and whether there are two blanks, okay, most of the time we will just set it to two blanks, okay, so that uh, certain words will be ranked correctly. Okay, so one example of words that may be affected would be words with like a two Z in them, okay, because the Scrabble set only has one, and we'll need another blank mm, to make such a word. Okay, so no need to configure that. Okay, then, okay, uh, so what can we do with this search function that we have just gone through? Okay, so it is useful because uh, Ziziva has this other function that I'm going to talk about next, and that is Cardbox. Cardbox is a word study system, again, okay, used to help you keep track of which words you often get wrong in terms of quizzes, okay, and which words you often get correct. Okay, so it will test you on a daily basis. Okay, so let's have a look at how to use this card box function. So as you can see here, okay, I have my lexicon set to CSW19. Uh, quiz type is anagrams. Okay, that's the default, no need to change. So we are going to add some words into the card box. 
Okay, so for example, if you want to add in the top 100 most likely seven letter words, then you right click on any part of the list, okay, and you click add list to cut box. Okay, so uh, no need to set anything, just press OK, and then uh, press on refresh. Okay, now we will see 53 questions due. Okay, note that although we added 100 words, there are only 53 because some of the uh, questions contain multiple anagrams. That means more than one answer. So how do you go to your card box quiz? Okay, click on the question mark icon in the top left corner that says quiz. However, once it pops up, you have to take note for the third row, quiz method, okay, change it to card box. Then, okay, this will be shown. Okay, so this is the quiz interface of Ziziva. Okay, so you can type in the answers and it will tell you if it's correct. So for example, I'm going to type in tonic and enter. So this is correct. Okay, so the answer is revealed and press enter to proceed to the next question. Or you could press next over here. Okay, then let's say I don't know this. Okay, so you can try, for example, uh, all line. Okay, so it will tell you that this is incorrect. Okay, so you can keep trying and eventually when you get it correct, okay, you will see a blue line here which shows that, okay, even though you got the answer right, okay, Ziziva still consider it as, as wrong, okay, because it has detected your earlier uh, invalid words, okay. So let's take a look at the details here. Old card box is zero, new card box is still zero. So card box zero are the words that you miss or answer wrongly the most often. These words will repeat every day, okay. As for some other words, okay, if I get it right, okay, more often, let's see if I key in gold here, Okay, you'll notice that it goes to cut box one instead. And the next schedule, okay, will be somewhere between three to five days later. Okay, so the reason behind this is if you're able to get it correct, then Ziziva can help you to repeat it less frequently and focus on your mistakes more often. Okay, so this is an example of how the cut box quiz works. Okay, so another way to use this quiz function is to just do a ad hoc, okay, Ziziva quiz. So uh, for this example, let me type in like ration blank. Okay, so if let's say you come across interesting list of words, okay, and you would like to uh, be tested on it, you can right click and uh, choose quiz from list. So note that this quiz is not related to card box. Okay, it would be just based off this list of words. And the quiz interface will just be as per normal. Okay, except that if you try to uh, cross and close this window, it will warn you about unsafe changes because this does not affect card box. So I hope this short introduction has been helpful in guiding you to use Ziva. Okay, enjoy your word study.